psychical spaces in Albion. Even as Norman Vaughan and Cookie had appeared on our TV screens, and Lord Buckley and Roger Corman had subverted our cinema <laughs> screens, the shoeless, long-haired layabouts of Beatdom made their very British debut in Cornwall in 1960 on a BBC Tonight programme. This is the final extract. Please, bear in search of new material. One of the places we found this was New Key in Cornwall. It seems that some of the people who live down there aren't too popular with their neighbours and come to that don't think very much of the place themselves. Just listen to this and you'll see what I mean. for the rest of the conference. <laughs> so from me, one old but not yet deadbeat, I hope you've done taking this stroll through the garden with me, uh, drawing on personal experience, to trace how the generally negative images of transgression and subcultural cohorts have transmuted it into positive images of an alternative society. I trust I've painted a pretty picture for you. So let's hope the counterculture can defeat the establishment one day. No sign of it this week, but let's not go there. Like Ken Kesey at the Berkeley anti-war rally, let's just turn our backs and say, fuck it. <laughs> Thank you.
theory would be a good way of beginning a conference, but I think you've shown us how to do it. Um, to combine entertainment, illumination, and a lot of humour in forty minutes. Um, we're going to keep more or less the time on the schedule because there's so many of you doing so many different things. So we only have five minutes before lunch. Um, but see if we um, is happy to field a, a few questions. After that, we will have lunch downstairs. Um, you've all got the programme. Do try and keep to it so that we have time for everyone to present. Um, you are a hard act to follow, but if you'd like to throw one or two um, questions in this hitman's direction, he will back them back. <laughs>